afternoon. This is Erin Muskies with Cayman Mama Press Release Distribution, and today we're speaking with Dr. James Schwade, Executive Director of Cyber Knife Centers. Dr. Schwade, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Tell me, Cyber Knife has been making headlines in the news due to um, the new center you opened in Tampa Bay. For those who don't know, what is Cyber Knife? Well, the Cyber Knife is a system for delivering very high doses of radiation therapy to a very, very concentrated and small target volume in a very short period of time. And by doing that, uh, one is able to destroy or ablate the tissue within that very tightly confined target volume uh, and, uh, and destroy, um, in most cases, uh, tumors are what's treated. And how did you get involved with Cyberknife? Well, I've been involved with this field of radiosurgery, which is a uh, a type of very specialized radiation therapy uh, since uh, the late 80s when I went to the University of Miami as the uh, first chairman of the radiation oncology department at that institution. And at that time, radiosurgery was really in its infancy and uh, we started with a system that had been developed at the University of Miami and then progressed through uh, commercially uh, available systems, and I was involved with the initiation of uh, two Gamma Knife sites in, uh, in Miami. The Gamma Knife is a, another system for doing radio surgery, uh, but it utilizes a cobalt source and can only treat lesions in the head and upper neck area and uh, has some limitations because it requires a frame to be screwed into the patient's skull to immobilize the patient and uh, only allows a single, uh, a, a single fraction of treatment. The CyberKnife, on the other hand, uses a lightweight linear accelerator which, can move, which is attached to a, a robotic arm and can move around the patient from virtually any angle. Uh, and the CyberKnife can be uh, used without any form of uh, immobilization which is much more comfortable for the patient and can treat anywhere in the body. It's not limited to the head or neck area, but it can treat the head, and which includes lesions in the brain or the uh, upper aerodigestive tract. Uh, it can treat lesions uh, in the bone, anywhere in the body. It can treat spinal lesions, lung lesions, pancreatic lesions. Uh, it can treat uh, tumors in the liver, uh, lesions that are in the uh, abdominal cavity, and uh, it's being widely used now for the treatment of prostate cancer as well. Is there a specific stage that um, the CyberKnife can treat at any stage, from you know beginning stages to well advanced? What will it catch? Well, the CyberKnife really, really treats individual lesions. So some patients with very advanced stage cancer can be treated if the lesions, the individual lesions are small enough. And so it's, it's, it's useful in some patients with very early stage uh, uh, cancers or uh, benign tumors such as uh, uh, lesions that uh, very commonly in the brain or in the prostate or in the lung. Uh, and in many cases it can be used to treat individual lesions that, that have spread in patients with more advanced stages of cancer, lesions that may have spread to the lung or spread to the brain or to the liver. Uh, and the limitation is mostly the size of the lesion. In general, uh, the, uh, the cyber knife is useful for lesions that are less than about six centimeters. That's about the, the thickness of, of your thumb. Okay. Uh, when you get lesions larger than that, it becomes difficult to maintain the very, very tight dose gradient. Uh, that is, that the, the, uh, the advantage to the cyber knife over many other forms of radiation therapy and other forms of treatment is that we can confine this very high dose of radiation to a very tightly uh, confined target volume. But when we get to bigger lesions, it becomes, it becomes more difficult to have that tightly defined dose gradient. And when, I, when you just spoke about the gamma ray, you mentioned something called a cobalt. What is the cobalt? Well, the, the gamma knife uses a, uh, a source of radiation that's, a, uh, that's radioactive cobalt. 
the the cobalt is giving off gamma rays, okay. and it's all it, it's it's a radioactive isotope that's constantly decaying. The CyberKnife uses a lightweight linear accelerator, which produces X rays. X rays and gamma rays are essentially the same thing, uh, uh, but uh, the uh, the uh, the CyberKnife is able to uh, produce a, a six million volt. Uh, X-ray dose as opposed to uh, the gamma rays from cobalt, which are only 1.2 million volts, and the um, the there are the various uh, qualities of uh, of linear accelerator-based radiation that make them more attractive than uh, than uh, cobalt apparatuses. And the the gamma knife is one of the only. Uh, surviving pieces of equipment that, that still utilize a, a radioactive cobalt source. Virtually all other, uh, all other radiation therapy utilizes a, a linear accelerator or other type of uh, accelerating device. And what are the benefits of, camp, of ca uh, CyberKnife cancer treatment versus traditional options as far as pain and recovery? Well, since the CyberKnife treats such a very uh, confined uh, uh, target volume, uh, there's very little dose that goes to the surrounding normal tissue and that means that there are less side effects uh, and less uh, problems that can occur uh, in normal tissue than you would find with other forms of radiation therapy. So for patients who have individual lesions that can be targeted by the CyberKnife, uh, there isn't as much effect on surrounding normal tissue. Uh, and this, uh, this means that uh, the patients uh, can uh, get in and out of the, uh, the treatment room much easier. It means that uh, other treatments such as surgery or chemotherapy or immunotherapy can be delivered in many cases at the same time uh, as CyberKnife without the CyberKnife treatment interfering with, uh, with those other treatments. Other forms of radiation therapy frequently have more effect on normal surrounding tissue and interfere with the ability to deliver some of these other treatments such as surgery or chemotherapy uh, or immunotherapy at the same time as the radiation therapy. And who qualifies for CyberKnife treatment? Well, it, as I say, some, some of the patients who qualify for CyberKnife treatment may be patients who have very early stage cancers or early stage uh, benign tumors and some of the people may be people who have uh, tumors or cancers that have uh, spread elsewhere uh, in the body. The real thing that would make a patient suitable for CyberKnife treatment would be whether the individual lesions that they have are less than six centimeters, which is about the largest size that can be treated and still maintain the very, very tight distribution of dose to the uh, to this very tightly confined target volume. CyberKnife has treatment centers in Miami, West Palm, and now Tampa Bay. Does each center specialize in a particular type of treatment? Well, the CyberKnife centers that uh, that uh, we run in Miami and uh, Palm Beach and Tampa uh, all can treat uh, a variety of lesions and treat all of the things that CyberKnife has been used for. But we have a very special expertise in a number of areas. In particular, um, our centers have probably treated more patients with lung cancers than anywhere uh, in the world. And we have a particular interest uh, and uh, expertise in treating prostate cancers as well. But we have treated uh, GI lesions brain lesions, head and neck lesions, pancreatic cancers, uh, bone lesions, spinal lesions on patients uh, from both the local area and actually patients from all over the world. And what are the future plans for CyberKnife centers? Uh, well, we are looking at some other uh, areas where we, uh, where, where we feel that it would be useful to, uh, to place one of these facilities, but right now uh, we're content on continuing to build on what we feel is the best organization for doing radiosurgery any place in the world in our, in our centers that we're currently operating. 
Fantastic. And how, how can people find you on the web for more information? Well, they can uh, either uh, find us at uh, uh, www.morecyberknife.com or at cyberknifemiami.com, cyberknifepalmbeach.com, or cyberknifetampabay.com. Well, thank you, Dr. Schwade. Thank you very much for your time and exclusive interview with caymanmama.com press release distribution. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. My pleasure.